This has metastasized and it is widespread and it has penetrated uh, communities around the world. President Obama and British Prime Minister David Cameron spoke out against Islamic extremism at a joint press conference Friday. We do face a very serious uh, Islamist extremist terrorist threat uh, in Europe, in America, across the world. It's been a week since gunmen attacked the headquarters of satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula officially claimed responsibility for the massacre, which left 17 people dead. Both Obama and Cameron said there was no one answer to preventing attacks like those in Paris from happening again. Instead, a task force will explore solutions and report back later this year, making Friday's discussion largely symbolic. Obama also touched on Cameron's pressure for the U.S. to allow the surveillance of potential terrorists through social media. We've been in dialogue with uh, uh, companies and have systematically worked through ways in which we can meet legitimate privacy concerns, but also meet uh, the very real concerns that David's identified. Social media and the internet is the primary way in which these terrorist organizations are communicating. President Obama warned Congress not to pursue any sanctions on Iran, saying sanctions would be detrimental to ongoing negotiations with the country. My main message to Congress at this point is, just hold your fire. Nobody around the world, least of all the Iranians, doubt my ability to get some additional sanctions passed should these negotiations fail. The leaders also agreed to maintain strong sanctions against Russia until it ends its aggression in Ukraine. For Newsy, I'm Madison Burke.